Hey, what's going on, Pojo and YouTube? This is uh, Team Sentinel uh, with this week's episode of Deck Mechanics. This week I have a gentleman that goes by the Godfather. He brought a very interesting deck to us. Uh, today's segment is going to be brought to you by me, Shadow Slayer. I'll have Black Market Yu-Gi-Oh! in the background. What's up? Making, giving his two cents as he normally does. That's right. Uh, he kind of turned the day over to me because of the fact that the Godfather has an interesting deck list that is very similar to a deck I ran at YCS called Chaos Gadget. So since I have more of a little expertise with this deck, he wanted me to go ahead and help the gentleman with his deck and see if I can't help him bring forth. Well, he's got an interesting deck build. Um, let's go over it right quick. He's running three Dakochis, one Scrap Recycler, three Ancient Gear Galgetra John I mean, Dragons, uh... Two Machina, what? Those guys. Yeah, those guys. Two Machina Force, three Red Gadget, three Yellow Gadget, three Green Jet. I mean Gadget, three Machina Gear Frame, three Fortress, two Peacekeeper, two Effect Veiler, one Chaos Sorcerer, one BLS. Spell, spell cards. He's only running five. Three Gear Towns, one MST, and one Double Cyclone. For traps, he has two Fiendish Chains, three Reckless Greeds, three Jar Greeds, and three Ultimate Offerings. Side deck. Side deck is two Consecrated Lights, two Cyber Dragons, two Neko Mana King, one Neo Spacing Grand Mole, two DD Crow, one Chain Disappearance, one Torrential, two Prohibition, and two MST. And finally, we'll finish it off with the extra deck. He is running one Fortress Dragon, one Black Wing Dragon, Allied Justice Field Marshal, Black Rose Dragon, Red Dragon Archfiend, Flame Veil, Bryonic, Colossal Fighter, Stardust, Number 17 Leviathan Dragon, three Number 39 Utopias, and two Maestro the Symphony of Me and Dijin. He goes on to tell us that his playstyle is aggressive, he likes to swing hard and fast, and it was formed out of meta. So, with this, I kind of took a few of the ideas that I had from my old deck that I went did pretty well with at YCS. Unfortunately, I didn't get as high as I wanted to, but for my first time there, I actually got very close to the top 100. Out of, what was it, 875? 900, something like that? Yeah. So, I was actually quite proud of myself. Um, deck is... 45 cards right at the bat. Uh, that definitely needs to come down a little bit. As you sway further and further away from 40, you're always going to have problems with the draw engine. And as I can see, he definitely had put his draw cards into the deck trying to speed that up. Well, as we come over here, you, I mean, you can now see that we have the version that I'm currently helping him with. I got as close as I could to one of my previous decks. I mean, currently it is sitting... At about 42 cards, so I got it down about three. I mean, I got it down by three cards, but let's start it off. <clears throat> you got two green gadgets, two yellow gadgets, three yellow gadgets. I can understand why he's wanting to do the ultimate offering gadget swarm, and uh, I have absolutely no problem with that. But if you have a bad opening hand and you get crowded with gadgets, then you have no ultimate offering, and it kind of becomes a dead draw, and you're stuck with weak monsters. Yeah, you have the chance for him to stay on the field, that's great, but I found that two of each gadget is a lot more consistent, so I went ahead and knocked him down to two. Uh, he's running two effect failures at his request. Two Cyber Dragons. Uh, Cyber Dragon in a machine deck is way too good not to use. Uh, not only can it be used for easy tributes, it can be used for five ranks, it can be used for, well, let's take your opponent's machine type monsters and perform a contact fusion with them. Chimeratech! The day's monster of the day, Chimeratech Dragon. Alright. <clears throat> he did want to try to put a little bit of chaos spin on it, so he did have requests to put, I mean, Black Luster Soldier in it. So, I mean, I wanted to show him my version that was running two Thunder Kings and two Doom Cows. Uh, Thunder King is really, really great in this meta. It keeps you from adding cards to your hand, so... And it's a pretty high attacker. Uh, Thunder King in the opening play is a great play. Uh, it can negate any inherent summon. Uh, it can stop your opponent singing if he attacks into it. It can stop your opponent's Xyz summon, your opponent's Synchro summon. There's a variety of cards that it can stop. Just remember that it can't. I mean, it has to be an inherent effect. You can't. He can't be tributed off. For a monster bringing out another monster, or a car bringing out a monster, like Monster Reborn bringing out something, or Zen Mighty bringing out a wind-up monster from the deck of your hand. That's a couple of examples. 
Plague Spreader Zombie is extremely, I mean, to my, I mean, in my personal opinion, it's still extremely useful. Um, with them getting rid of Glow Up Bulb, Plague Spreader is your next best creature that he's an easy defender, he's easy to toss in the graveyard, and he's easy to bring back for excessive synchros. Next up, <clears throat> my version, I run two Doom Caliber Knights. A lot of people think that Doom Cali Knights are outdated because of the day's meta, but even in the day's meta, Doom Callies have a high defense, and even though they have to be tributed off when effect monsters effect activates, you, I mean, at the right time, their effect could still be a little devastating. I mean, devastating. You throw one of them on the, I mean, field turn one, it's going to make your opponent think about what they want to do. So instead of them wanting to go turn one rescue rabbit, it's going to make them have to go back a little bit, you know? Uh, one BLS. It is a chaos gadget. One Gores. Two Machina Fortresses. Uh, two is really all you need because Machina Gear Frames search them out, which is running, I mean, running two. Went down to two of the Gadgetron Dragons. Three is excessive. You really don't need it. You can discard them to bring out Machina Fortress. Um, and not to mention the fact that Gear Town can bring them out from the hand deck or graveyard. Uh, it's always better to run three Gear Town, two Fortress Dragon than it is anything, I mean, um, Gadgetron Dragon, sorry, than it is to have an equal amount. Because you can reuse Gear Towns, but once they kind of get in the, I mean, getting stuck in your hand and you have no fortresses and no gear towns to get them out, you're kind of sitting there with tributes. And that's not always a good thing to do. Alright. Got one Chaos Sorcerer. It is a Chaos deck. Um, Chaos Sorcerer with your Plague Spreader. I mean, your Plague Spreader can help you go into your eights. It also can help you with many other combos. Uh, let's go for your spells. Mind Control, Dark Hole, Monster Reborn, three MSTs. MSTs are in there not only to get rid of your opponent's back row, but if you don't need it at the moment, you can get rid of your gear, I mean, gear town or by replacing your own gear town for that fact. Now remember, when you replace gear town, it has to be face down to destroy it to get the effect. If you replace it while it's face up, you do not get the ability and misses the timing. One Heavy Storm, one Creature Swap. Um, with Plague Spreader on the field or your Gadgets on the field, Creature Swap is an ideal target. I mean... It doesn't necessarily have to be in here. You can probably take it out. Um, you can trade it out for ultimate offering if you wanted to. One future fusion with this many machines. It's always, I mean, always nice to have a little bit of an extra uh, reinforcement in it. You can always go for Chimeratech Over Dragon, which can be a very heavy hitter at the time. All right, you got your future fusion, your three gear towns. Uh, as I mentioned before, your gear towns are extremely good. Uh, your opponent gets rid of them while it's face down. You get your ancient gear monster. You get rid of it while it's face down. You get your ancient gear monster. Your heavy storm or mystical it. You get your ancient gear monster. Enough said. Foolish barrel. Uh, foolish barrel is great because of the fact that if you're set there holding an ancient gear monster and you want a foolish barrel on a mocking a fortress, you have a free monster. Uh, if you want a Foolish Barrel out Plague Spreader, you have a free Synchro. So, it's a free card. Limit Removal. With this many monsters, you Limit Removal, you'd be crazy not to run. Uh, two Phoenix Chains and two Solemn Warnings. That's basically it for the main deck. It's 42 cards. It's very, very similar to my build that was extremely consistent. I didn't run the Machinas in mine. I actually run uh, Monarchs. I played three Kaises and one Ryza. So it was, or yeah, three Kaises and one Ryza. So it was a little, I mean, it was very consistent. I had a lot of fun with it. People weren't expecting it. And I won a few box tournaments with it because people didn't really know how to defend with it. Um, you could probably even tech in Pot of Duality if you really wanted to because this deck doesn't do a lot of special summoning right off the bat. So Pot of Duality with the gadgets isn't a bad start at all. Let's go to the side deck. Uh, the side deck I completely changed. We have, I went to two Chain Disappearances, two Torrentials, two Shadow Imprisoning Mirrors, two D Crows, one Grand Mole, two Ultimate Offerings, two Bottomless Trap Holes, and two Prohibitions. Just about all of the side deck you encounter, I mean, just about everything in the meta. Your chain disappearances are going to help you at everything that's a thousand or less. Your wind up rats, your tour gods, uh, your rescue rabbits, 
Torrential, same thing. Shadow and Prisoner Mirror can stop the Insectors, it can stop Dark World. Uh, DD Crow, it works for just about every, I mean, every bit of the meta. Uh, Grandma, same thing. Ultimate offerings are, I mean, you can side them in, side them out for um, if you want to speed up the gadget control. Two bottomless trap holes, just an excellent side deck nowadays. And two prohibitions. If you know what your opponent's playing, tech them in and call in at the right time. You completely shut your opponent's deck down. Now, let's go to the exceed. I mean, uh, your extra deck. I changed it around a little bit. Yeah, let's go to the exceeds. Man, that forearm has got me all messed up right now. Got Went down to one Maestro. Went up one Papilia Operative. It's a rare, very inexpensive, and it's a great effect. If your opponent has a face-down monster, you can detach I mean, Well, if your opponent has a defense position monster, you can detach it. Put it in attack mode, it loses 600 attack. Not bad at all. Just remember that if it has a flip effect, it's going to go off. Two Utopias, one Utopia Ray. Uh, Utopia Ray is extremely good, especially if you mind control or creature swap your opponent's Utopia. You can exceed into Utopia Ray and basically get a free monster in the process of this. Went to one Gachi, I mean, Gachi Kochi Dragon. Uh, Gachi Kochi is the next best thing outside of Blade Armor, and this deck cannot go into Blade Armor, so Gachi Kochi is probably the, uh, one of the better choices of four ranks right now. It's easy to get. It's from Zexal Volume 1, located at any retailer that sells manga, Barnes & Noble's, Books A Million, so on and so forth. Um, it says, once per turn, when this card destroys the opponent's monster by battle, it sends it to the graveyard. You can detach one Xyz material from this card. It can attack once again into the row. So, it's basically about the same as Blade Armor, except for automatically being guaranteed two attacks. You have to destroy something, but still, it's not a bad. I mean, not bad at all. One Briar, one Flame Velocraza, uh, one Karakuri Shogun Bure. He's actually dropped a lot in price, and all he takes is a tuner and one more non-tuner machine type monsters. He's a seven star. It says when this card is synchro summoned, you can special summon one carry curry monster from your deck. That's irrelevant, but what is relevant is the fact that once per turn you can select one monster in the field and change its battle position. That is extremely useful when you're trying to take control of the game. Your opponent has, say, a defense position spirit reaper, has a face down monster, you don't know what it is. It's just a game-changing card that's extremely easy to make with Cyber Dragon and Plague Spreader. One Black Rose Dragon, one Stardust Dragon, and one Mistworm. Uh, Mistworm is really easy to make. It doesn't take a lot to make it. You can go 4-3-1, I mean a 4-3-2 with Plague Spreader, uh, or 4-4-1 with Effect Veil, or, or if you have Cyber Dragon and Monster Reborn, you can go 5-3-1. Uh, so there's multiple ways to get them out in the field, and it can help you take control of the game at the needed time. Two Chimeratech Fortress Dragons. With the addition of Cyber Dragons, it does make it a little bit faster for you to go into your machines. And one Chimeratech Overdragon. That will give you the target that you need for future fusion to fill your graveyard up, and that way you can start I mean, using Machina Fortress and Ancient Gear Dragon, I mean, Gadgetron as fast as possible. Um... With that being said, I try to take in a lot of consideration of what his wishes were. That way I can try to keep it Machina, Gadget, Chaos, and preferably. I think the Gadget would, I mean, I think the deck could probably have a lot of good draws, a lot of power, a lot of aggressiveness. Just have to try to test it out and see what you think with it. There's a lot of combos that could be off with it. Just remember to be careful and learn the cards. Um... But that is the I mean that is it for this week's version of Debt Mechanics. This is Shadow Slayer and Black Market Yu Gi Oh! That's over there cooking right now. Which Dang is right. Just remember everybody, play hard or go home. Send us in your deck ideas, strategies, or anything else, and we'll pick it out once a week at Team Sentinel One. Number one. Not I mean not spelled out, Team Sentinel One at Yahoo.com. Or check out our YouTube page at uh Team Sentinel. That's right. Check out our YouTube page at Team Sentinel. So, until next time, we wish you all farewell. Play hard to go home. This is Shadow Slayer, and I hope you like our deck.